You see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state. Your breakthrough may not come the way somebody else got their breakthrough. Your breakthrough may come a totally different way. God has given you the victory and they call it the triumph is yours. Health is a mindset. Wealth is a mindset. Prosperity is a mindset. Is that real success is not measured by how big your house is, how big your car is, how much money you got and how much money you got in the bank. All of those are good things. They are byproducts of you living in the kingdom. But see, true measure of success is not measured by that in the kingdom of God. Real success that you have is this, is that you've been faithful to what God has told you to do. That's real success. Real success is I've been obedient to God. This is what God's mission is for my life. I give myself to that. Real success means that I didn't have to compromise to get to where I am. And there are people today all across the nation, all across, even in business world, in the, in the governmental world, political world, in, in churches and ministries, that they're, they're allowing other things to come in in order for them to be successful. They have to pull back on areas or water down their message or, 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 or play into the systems in order to stay on television. Let me do this. If you have to water down your message to be heard, then you don't need to be heard. I hope you listen to me in the new stream all over the, all over the nation. See, don't water down your message to be heard. Listen, in Christendom, Christendom has enough repeats. It has enough echoes. It have enough people repeating the same thing somebody else is saying. If you're going to move in a dimension, it's not wrong with you can grab hold certain things, but, but it's a revelation eventually has got to become yours. That's what I'm saying. It, it can't be just somebody else's revelation. It's got to be where it's birthing you and it's thunder inside of you. That this kingdom of God is within you. And everywhere you go, it's God's kingdom rule and reign. When you walk into a place, you're taking the kingdom of God in that area.